friends, Mark right here with more fall products for you. Today specifically is for bakers or cake bakers or someone who wants to be a cake baker. You guys, these cake pans, what are they called? They're called the round cake pans, are just adorable. Number one, they're, they're not super big cake pans, but they make a full-size cake because there are four layers. So let me show you what came in the mail today. I get the Food Network magazine and look at what we have right on the front cover. This is like brand new. It just I just got it out of the mailbox like within 30 minutes ago. This is October's Food Network magazine. Four layer cakes. Cakes are in, you guys, so totally in. I don't know if you've had to buy a cake at the bakery lately, but they're super expensive. It's so crazy. So this is a standard cake mix. You know, all four of these pans are a standard cake mix all together or a standard recipe, you know, that would be, um, you know, the same as a standard cake mix. What I love about these pans, just like the loaf pan or the mini loaf pan from yesterday, is that they're this beautiful, I call it Tiffany blue color, and um, the inside has the best release, just so good. What I especially love about these pans too is, look, they have a fill line, a fill line. So all you have to do, you don't have to worry about you know, because portioning out the batter to four different pans can be kind of challenging, but you just fill each one to the fill line, and there you have it. They bake all on the same rack, so that's easy peasy. You don't have to trade them top and bottom racks uh, partway through in most any oven. And they make beautiful cakes, absolutely gorgeous. So this is a new recipe, the s'mores layer cake. I will send this to anybody who wants it. Just put the comment below that you want the s'mores layer cake and I'll send you the recipe. So baking cakes. Another thing too with these cakes, this, you would not cut one whole piece, you know, of all four layers. In most cases, what you would do is cut, um, like, like this would be enough for eight to 12 servings. How much does it say? 12 servings. Okay. So you could cut this into 12 very long, slender pieces or hey Jana or you could cut it into six a wedge of six and then take the top layer off and then cut the bottom layer a wedge of six and then the bottom layer so anyway I really like these pans we used to have them uh, not in this blue color and I kept them things that we that go out of stock or that um, you know are discontinued but I really like them I keep those things and this is something I kept um, so anyway, I love these uh, round cake pans. Now to go with the cakes, you guys, you got to have some decorating tools. I know, right? Doesn't it look delicious, Jana? So, so good. Um, this one looks too good too, chocolate. Man, you can't beat that on the cover of the Food Network magazine that just came. This is called, what are they calling this one? An icing smoother. So you could probably figure out what this is for, right? Like you could put your cake on a Lazy Susan. We have a Lazy Susan that works perfectly for that. And then you just spin it um, and hold this onto the edge of the cake, right? So pretend this is my cake and you hold it onto the edge and spin it and you get a nice smooth edge um, or top. You can smooth it really nicely. This is if you want to have, you know, the pattern or design in the side of the cake. I heard somebody, and I think I would use it for this quite a bit, is if you made a sheet cake, you know, like a nine by 13, and you frosted it, or even whipped cream on a cake, you could take this over the top, and maybe even go the opposite direction and give it a cool pattern in the top. So perfect for spreading icing, making those smooth sides. Hi, Sharon, welcome, um, and, um, making a cool design on the sides or the top. So I love this too. It's called the, um, what is it called? I just said it, icing smoother. Now I've got an icing spatula, which we've had this in our lineup before too. This has such a good feel to it. It's super sturdy. Our other one was kind of flexible and kind of got out of shape um, after years of use, but this one feels so sturdy, but flexible enough to, you know, do the spreading that you want. I know, right, Jenna? I love the Food Network. Um, and also, besides spreading, you know, I use this to spread pizza sauce on pizza. Um, of course, for the cakes, like we mentioned, my husband uses this when we have a pizza on the stove on the stone. He uses this 
to loosen the pizza if parts of it have kind of stuck on or to you know get the pizza loosened I like this when I make a cookie pizza which is pretty high sugar content and it doesn't come up as easily as um, the regular pizza dough on a stone so I take this pull it out of the oven got the big old huge cookie on it let it cool for 10 minutes and then I use this to go all the way and loosen the whole thing under so serving is a breeze so love the icing spatula I use it for a lot more things than just icing and last thing today you guys is something I think is going to be super fun it is called the dual piping bags. Now we have some pretty nice piping bags that I really like. They're kind of a teal color. You may have seen them. This is the same nice material as those. They go in the dishwasher. They are reusable, right? So you're not wasting anything. You have, we have exact utensils. Yes, right? If you bake cakes or decorate cakes, you need those kind of things, right? This is so that you could put, um, two colors or two kinds of frosting in these bags right so you put maybe you could put um, pink frosting in this side and maybe on this side you do blue frosting i'm just making this up um and then these are just the little pieces that help you know get the tip on to secure the tip they just let me show you how it works it's really such a clever design i love my other ones i used to use them in the classroom all the time too but how it works is this piece just fits inside and again i just throw all of this i turn it upside down and i just put mine it has this little loop thing and i put mine upside inside out top rack of the dishwasher and i loop this over one of the times that you know is poking up and it doesn't move around it just sticks right there and washes it so that any you know because icing is kind of um you know it's got a lot of fat in it so it's kind of greasy and this cleans up so beautifully then i just pop them right side up after i've dried them thoroughly make sure they're nice and dry and you've got these beautiful bags so then you take your little coupler you put it inside and squeeze it all the way to the top you guys Okay, like that. And you can see it's kind of shaped so it has one flat side. So here's its buddy, other flat side. You put them together, and then you can pick which tip you want, right? It comes with three different really nice tips, like Wilton. I'm sh Who knows, Wilton might even make these for us. Um, and so does our other, you know, but beautiful, right? This is just your straight round. This is going to be your big star. This is my favorite one. I love the big star. Or your, you know, fine star. I don't know what the terms are exactly for those but anyway I'm gonna pick my favorite one I love 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 it it makes beautiful rosettes put those two together pop that on top and then you've got this guy that goes right on top and I keep it so that the fabric of the bag it's not fabric it's kind of a I don't know what it is actually made out of but it's very sturdy I keep it on the threads right because I want this to thread over the top of those Hang on, you guys. Here we go. I won't pay attention to the camera. I'll pay attention to what I'm doing. And you just thread it on there so that it's nice and tight. And that way it's not going to blow out when you go to do the frosting. And then, like I said, one color in one side, one color in the other. Move those down to the bottom. Comes with a Twixit clip. Pamper Chef thinks of everything. That goes on. And then you can make your rosettes in two different colors. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, showers. I was thinking gender reveal. Like if you're not sure boy or girl, you know, I know I've never even actually been to a gender reveal party, but I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cute if your cupcakes had red, um, blue and pink swirled all the cupcakes that are out, and then maybe the one cupcake that reveals the gender of the baby is underneath like some special looking box and they pick up the box and there's the pink cupcake. <laughs> I don't know, but I think this would be so cute. I cannot wait. I have not tried this yet. I love our other ones, but I think this is going to be super fun for dual colored cupcakes, cakes, all that kind of good stuff. So I've shared a bunch of stuff with you guys today. I have more tomorrow. In fact, one of my favorite new things is tomorrow. But if you're a cake baker or somebody you know is a cake baker, I love these pans. I think you'd have a lot of fun with them. And another good thing, too, is that if you 
are, you know, a small family or you just want to make a cake even for yourself, you know, you can just do, whip up a quick little one cake. This is like enough for what? Three, four servings? One, maybe one serving. <laughs> anyway, okay, you guys, if you want this recipe, let me know. I'll send it to you. It's in our new season's best. Hope you're having a great day. Bye now. I'll check out the comments when I'm done and make sure I answer any questions. Have a great day.